Okay, I want to demonstrate uh, a new feature I had requested uh, Eric, the designer of the Tiny SA, to add to the Tiny SA. And uh, I call it uh, interval triggering. I'm using the uh, Tiny SA in the zero span mode. And so you can see I've got a frequency set for 1.85 megahertz. And zero span mode uh, really puts the Tiny SA into the time domain mode where the horizontal axis is actually uh, displaying a swept time. I've got it set for 20 milliseconds to uh, represent uh, slightly more than um, the time for a 60 hertz sine wave. And right now, this unit is uh, operating in auto trigger mode, which was uh, one of the trigger modes that uh, was available on a tiny SA. The problem with that is that these spikes uh, that you're seeing, which I'm uh, artificially generating uh, with a signal generator, uh, the signal generator is set at 60 hertz, so I'm generating harmonics, very high frequency harmonics that are spreading up into the, you know, up to, up to at least 1.85 megahertz. But uh, they should be, uh, I, I prefer them to be stationary. And the only way we can do that is to trigger the display so it's related to that uh, 60 hertz signal. And so that was the interval triggering that I had requested to be added, and I'll show you how that works. We can, this is the new option here called interval. Uh, and if we set that time to be equivalent to 1 divided by 60, which is 1 divided by 60 hertz, which is 16.7 milliseconds, so we'll go ahead and set that. Sixteen point seven milliseconds, and now you can see those spikes are pretty stationary. Slight movement, and that's just because the internal timer on the Tiny SA um, uh, doesn't have quite enough resolution, um, but it's it's uh, more than adequate. And so now we can actually see this artificially generated spikes from my signal generator uh, in the zero span mode. We're actually looking at demodulated audio, and those spikes should be. Uh, spaced at a time equivalent to uh, 120 hertz or 8.3 milliseconds. And uh, that's the beauty of the interval timing. Our sweep is now in sync with 60 hertz, and that's why it looks like those spikes are stationary. Where if you're just doing, you know, we'll go back to auto triggering, and the way we can get back to that, we can just set that interval time, oops, set the interval time to uh, zero. And now it's back to uh, the auto trigger, and you can see now um, we're no longer in sync with the uh, 60 hertz uh, generated harmonics.